Howdy team, we're still working on objective 1.1, we're on video 3, and it asks us to start the access screen on the new page of the backstage view. So I thought I'd talk about backstage view. Backstage view is when you, let me open access again for you so I can show you what I was talking about. When you first open Access, you see the backstage view. When you're in a database, for example, we had been in the Northwest um, Traders database, you're in the front stage view that has the Microsoft ribbon. You, their ribbon enables you to create, import external data, export external internal data, use database tools, and more. When you want to go to the backstage view in any of the Microsoft Office products, you would click the file menu. Sometimes we think about this as like also being able to print and stuff. Um, it asks us to go to backstage view and create a blank database. So I'm going to go to new. And when I get here, there's blank database. All right. Um, I don't think I was supposed to start in that other template though. So from access start screen. Hmm. Let's not start in Northwest Trader. Okay. Let's go ahead and start access again by itself. We could have also closed the database, but we're going to start an access by itself. We, it opens in the backstage view. It asks us to open a blank database and name that database Moss Database Last Name. So last name obviously is our name. We're going to click blank database. And remember, um, we want to make sure that we put it in the location we wish for. This database wants to go put in Users Davis, and I don't want to go there. I want to pick my file. I want to go to my desktop. That's where I've been saving everything. And in my desktop, I'm going in the Daphne folder and into Objective 1. I had made a homework folder that I called Lewis 1 Access. You may have made it Practice Files. And we're going to call this one Moss Database Lewis. Now, I made one earlier. Don't really like that one. I'm going to see if it'll let me replace it. Nope, it didn't. It made a second one. So we're going to go ahead and go create. And it says, now do you want to replace the file? Yes, I do. I want to try this one all over again. So we have a blank table that's default made in our all access objects, but nothing else. I'm going to go ahead and go to the home menu on our ribbon. And if you ever need a little more room on your stage, you can come over here to the Chevron. Click that Chevron and it hides it. All right. But if you come back to the home menu, then your ribbon pulls down or any of your tabs. And if you'll hit that thumbtack, it'll make that ribbon stay open. So let's see what comes next. Import the customers and orders table definition. Guys, this is not customers and order table. It's customer and orders tables. And I wasn't quite sure about that myself. So I went and looked in the instructor's files and realized that it's called customers and orders and you're importing that from the Northwind database. So we're going to go to get external database, which is our um, fourth tab. And we're going to go to a new data source from a database. And we want to go from access. Now, do note, it gives you the ability to import from an SQL database or a Sure database or a DBase file. You may have other choices. That's what I've exposed my database to so far. You can add others. So I'm going to browse, and I'm going to go to those files that I made. We kind of talked about that. I could click there, but I'm going to keep going to the desktop so you see the same routine each time. And I'm going to go into Objective 1. And here are all the files. These are the textbook files we'll be using later. But um, right now, we want to go into Lewis Access 1 and the Northwind database. And then we want to pick, we want to link the data source and pick. 
So the table we want to pick is, we want to pick customers, and we want to pick orders, I believe. Customers and orders. Will it let us pick two? Let's see if it will let us pick two. So I clicked on customers once. I clicked on orders once, and I'm going to go OK. And you should see that those two tables are linked and put inside our access database. So we have customers and orders. Import the expenses paid worksheet from the access one file. Now when I look this up, it's not called expenses. It's called access one one. And for myself, I found that a little confusing. So I want you to know that we're importing an Excel worksheet from the textbook file. So I'm going to go back into external data and I'm going to import through new data from a file that's Excel. Then I'm going to browse my computer back to my desktop, back to my Daphne files, back to access object one, and then what I want to see are the files. Do you remember earlier? We had all these red files, but now we only have a green file because we're looking for a Microsoft Excel file. This is actually the expenses worksheet, even though it's not called that. We're going to double click that, say open, and we want to import the source data into a new table. I believe that's what it says. Import the Excel worksheet from Access Workbook into the practice file folder to create a new table. And we do want to support the column headings. So we're going to go OK. And then it asks us, do you want to show worksheets? There's expenses paid or expenses pending. And it specifically told us expenses paid. So here's where we see that title. But when we were importing, we couldn't see the title. So we don't need them both. We just need this one. And then we, yes, we want to make sure we have checked first row contains headers. And then next, um, it doesn't say anything about duplicates, but do realize sometimes you'll be asked not that duplicates aren't okay. So you would click no, but we're okay with duplicates in this one, which means two files that are named exactly the same. Now, if you'll notice down here, it says make sure your expenses ID is a primary key. A primary key is a unique identifier. We in the United States of America are each given a social security number at birth. There are no United States citizens born in the United States with a duplicate social security number. That is our primary key. Well, it uniquely identifies us by a nine digit number, right? So, um, actually, it's an eight digit number. Sorry about that. Um, so, a primary key in a database operates like a social security number. It uniquely identifies each fault, each file. So maybe you have a file of pottery and each type of pottery piece that's in your database is a different type. And so you would have a unique primary key number or name for each one of those pottery pieces. So I'm going to choose my own primary key radio button. Then I'll come over here and it Access defaulted and liked expense ID, which is what we're supposed to be using for our primary key, but we had the choices of any of the column headings to be our unique primary key. Some of those might not work. Look at expense type right here. A primary key has to be unique. It has to be different. But here in expense type, we have one, two, three, four, five travels that were expense type. That wouldn't work as a primary key. A numbering system very often works, or a naming system, but sometimes a naming nomenclature system is harder than a number. Usually a number works because it's unique. We go next, and it asks us to, what did it ask us to name? This is called Access 1-1, and Expenses Paid Worksheet, which is what we're going to keep it named as. So we go ahead and go Finish. And we don't need to save the import steps. Those are just the steps we took to bring this 
table into access and we go close and here you can see the expenses paid table is at the top and it I double clicked it so we could open it and see how that was done um, I believe that is all we need to do let me just check real quick It says actually name the table expenses, not expenses paid. And so I can go ahead and go save and close on my expenses paid and to change that title now that it's over here in our left navigation bar of all access objects. I can right click on expenses pages and go down to rename. Just change that just to expenses. I believe that's what it asked us to do. Hit enter. That table has been renamed and we have completed the task for access objective 1.1. Way to go team! Make sure to submit this for grading. <laughs> Don't forget!